Hi, you're watching Charthouse TV. Welcome to part two of our innovative marine aquarium build. So for those of you that saw it, we recently put out part one of our new series of videos, which is uh, the showing you the aquarium build of our uh, innovative marine Lagoon 50 setup that we've um, got on display here at our Hartford headquarters. Now, at the end of that video, we asked you guys to get involved and put out a poll via some of our social media platforms and via our YouTube community to decide which light you most wanted to see over this aquarium once it was set up. Now, you haven't got to be a genius to work out. This light here was the winner of that poll, the Radiant XR30W, um, closely followed, I must say, by the AI Prime HDs. Um, but this one came out on top, so we're going to put this over the tank, uh, probably via one of the RMS mounts. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've decided that yet, but probably via one of the standard arms, as that's what most people use out there. Uh, we wanted to, in this video, take you through some of the other equipment we've decided to use on the tank as well. Yeah, so uh, I am make mainly rear chambered aquariums um, and they call it an AIO or an all-in-one aquarium and they make equipment that fits uh, specifically in those aquariums as well. They make two main uh, sizes, they make a desktop size and a mid-size. The desktop is the smaller, mid-size, uh, larger aquarium but the good thing with that is when you're buying the equipment, if you know what size aquarium you've got, you buy that size and you know it's going to fit. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take a look at some of the equipment we're going to be fitting. Most of it is going to be made by IM themselves. So we have, first of all, the Ghost uh, protein skimmer. So the reason they call it a Ghost is it fits really neatly into the back chamber. Um, it's really minimal size, so you won't really see it in there. But that will do a good job of clearing out all of the muck, uh, the proteins and things from the water column that the fish create. So that's a, a good bonus to put that in there. And also we're going to be putting a reactor. Uh, the Minimax uh, reactor. Again, in future, you can use that for different medias, different uh, Carbon. carbons, things like that, that you're gonna put in there to help purify your water, clear it. Um, so that's always a good thing to put on there, especially on a rear chamber tank, you wouldn't normally have room for it, but yeah. they make sure it's gonna fit on there. Um, another thing we're gonna be putting on there is an in-tank media basket. Um, these are great, they're made specifically for that aquarium. They fit in there. We've made a video on the range of in-tank uh, media baskets and we'll put a link of that in the corner of the aquarium. On these aquariums, they have two filter socks, one at either end. Come as standard. It's come as standard. We're going to remove one of those, put this in its place, and that will do a good job of filtering the media, for, uh, filtering the water for us. Yeah, I mean, another thing that comes as standard with the tank is a return pump. It's the only bit of equipment you get with any of the IM AIO tanks. Now, as standard, it comes with an AC pump, which is great, Doesn't, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's a craze at the minute, people want a DC pump on their tanks, and it gives you a little bit more controllability. Now, on this tank, we're gonna stick with the AC pump, but if you've got the desktop size aquariums, there is an upgrade available, only in desktop in the UK at the moment, but called the Mighty Jet, which is just a standard DC return pump, and it just pushes onto the pipework that you get with a tank in place of the AC pump, but obviously not on this size tank it'd be a step down in yeah, flow so probably not for us but there is a pump that we are going to use and that's the wavelink pump the wavelink will act as our power head basically we're going to start with one if we need to move on then we'll do so in the future but we'll do a separate video just highlighting the key features of both them pumps in the future so make sure you keep subscribed um, and moving on from that so without further ado let's get these unboxed and get them on the tank have it we've got all of the equipment in the tank uh, as we mentioned we've taken the filter media sock that comes with the tank out of this chamber on the right and we've replaced that with the in-tank media basket we've got the ghost protein skimmer as you can see and we mentioned earlier really slim line really impressed with that you do adjust the skimmer cut but I think it's going to look really neat we've got the um, mid-size media reactor not so neat, if I'm admittedly, but um, you can always swap it out for a desktop size. We might do, we'll see how we're getting on once the tank's uh, wet and the system's set up. 
And then in the last chamber, we've left the filter media sock, so we've got a bit of mechanical filtration. We've got the little uh, power head in there, as we said, um, the Wavelink pump. It looks really tiny in this, um, in this Lagoon 50. I'm not sure how that's going to cope. You have got the two returns on the back chamber of this aquarium model, so we'll see how that gets on. And then finally, we've got the light that you guys voted for, so the Ecotec XR30. Uh, that's going to really illuminate this tank perfectly. As we said, the next step will be uh, picking the rocks uh, for this aquarium. And as with this, we wanted to get you involved. So we'll get a poll on YouTube as well as other social medias and let you decide what rock we put in here to scape it. So the options are going to be TMC uh, Eco Rock, the uh, Real Reef Rock, and also uh, Carib Seas Life Rock. We've done a video on all of those rocks. So if you check that out, it'll give you uh, more of an understanding. You'll be able to vote for the rock that you want to see in this scape. Yeah, it's worth noting at this point, if you like the IM tanks and you're looking for, to, you know, to purchase one or you're looking just to upgrade your aquarium, we are running our aquarium builder offer at the moment where when you buy any equipment with a new aquarium that you're purchasing, you're gonna get a discount on it. So buy any pump, that's return pump or power head and um, any light and any form of filtration. So whether it be something like your in-tank media basket or your fluidized reactor, by any of those alongside an aquarium, and that's not just IM tanks, that's any brand, and we'll give you 10% off of the equipment. All you need to do is go on the website and the cart will do that for you. So if you're looking for a new tank or you're looking to upgrade and which of us isn't, then um, make sure you don't miss out on that. As always, thanks for watching Chart House TV. Uh, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos that we're gonna release. And we'll see you again in the next one. Yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in part three.